Today's topic is about the lens. Lens, it is also a refracting surface. The surface which refract the light, that's called also a lens. There are two types of lens. One is known as convex. Another one is concave. A convex lens, a lens which is thicker at the center and thinner near the edges, that's known as a convex lens. And concave lens, the lens which is thicker at the edges and thinner at the center, that is known as concave lens. In your course, you will learn in detail about the convex lens, con not about concave lens. Convex lens is also known as a converging lens. What is the reason why it is known as a converging lens? The reason why it is known as a converging lens because when the li parallel light rays strike this convex lens, these light rays converge at one point. Or meet at one point. That's why a convex lens is also known as converging lens. Whereas concave lens is all known as a diverging lens. Why we call that as a diverging lens? When the parallel light rays fall, these light rays diverge, scatter. So as the light rays scatter, why the light rays scatter, I will show by the refraction. So because it diverge all the light rays, parallel light rays, that's why it is also known as diverging lens. But for exam point of view, uh, you will only learn about the convex lens, how a convex lens produce images and how a refraction of a light occur through a convex lens. So first thing, a refraction of the light. Through the convex lens. So how the refraction of the light occurs through a convex lens. Example, this is a convex lens. <clears throat> so the lens which is uh, thicker at the center and thinner near the edges, that's a convex lens. So example, this is a convex lens. So how the light is refracted, the simple refraction occur, the light which strike that is, a, that's the incident. The light which strike, that's known as an incident. Imaginary line which is perpendicular to the surface because the surface is a curve. So when I draw the normal, the yellow line is representing a normal. So this will be the normal. 90 degree to the surface. So when it travel from air to glass, so when it travel from air to lens, the, it will bend towards the normal. So this will be bent away from normal. This is when it follows straight and this is when it bent towards the normal. Then we draw a normal again at the other surface. So when we draw the normal again at the other surface, normal is always 90 degree or perpendicular to the surface. So this one is a normal. And what happened? Moving from 
glass to air it will bend away from the normal so when we represent bend away from the normal so this is bend because if i draw in this manner it means bend toward the normal this is straight if it does not change the medium this one is bent towards the normal so this is bent away from normal so you can see this is how a refraction occur through this convex lens if the light is passing straight so if the light is passing straight we only observe the change in speed but no change in direction so if this is a convex lens the light is passing exactly at the center so when the light is passing exactly at the center of the lens when i draw the imaginary line the normal at this point so you can see the normal is perpendicular and the light is passing along the normal so when the ray of the light is passing along the normal it does not changes the direction it will pass straight and when i draw the normal at the other face again it is passing along the normal so again as it is passing along the normal what we observe it will pass straight so we don't observe any change in the direction the speed will change but the direction will not change so if light light is entering the top half of this convex lens it will bend towards the normal and it will bend downward if it is passing exactly at the center without changing the direction it will pass straight and the third one if it is passing at the bottom half of a convex lens example this is a convex lens so if light is passing at the bottom half of this convex lens imaginary line when we draw the imaginary line the normal so normal is always 90 degree perpendicular so this will be the normal as it travel from air to glass it will bend towards the normal and again if we draw the normal the perpendicular to surface that's normal so moving from glass to air it will bend away from the normal so when we represent bending away from the normal so this will be because this is towards the normal this is undeflected so this will be bent towards the normal so the refraction if it is entering the top half it will bend down if it enter from bottom half it will bend up and if it is passing exactly straight it will pass without changing the direction the speed will change but the direction will not change so this is how a refraction will occur through a convex lens the terms which you have to learn for the convex lens example this is a convex lens the imaginary line which is passing through the center of the lens this is imaginary in reality it's not there this is just imaginary so this line is known as principal axis basic line or a principal axis the point where this imaginary line is passing through the center of the lens that point is known as optical center 
So imaginary line which is passing through the center is known as principal axis. The center of the lens is all where the principal axis is passing. That point is known as optical center. And because it's a converging lens, so if it's a converging lens, if parallel light rays are there, these light rays will converge at one point. So as these light rays will converge at one point, the point where these light rays converge on the principal axis, that point, specific point on the principal axis, we call this as focus, focus or principal focus. You can say focus or principal focus as well. The distance between the center of the lens and the principal focus. This distance is known as focal length. And it is denoted by letter F. So focal length is a distance between the center of the lens and the principal focus. So for a lens, we also define another point which we call 2F. What is the meaning of 2F? 2F is a point which is double of focus. For example, if focal length is 10 centimeters, 2F will be 20 centimeter. If focal length is 15 centimeter, 2F will be 30 centimeter. If focal length is 20, if focal length is 50 centimeter, then 2F will be 100 centimeter. So one point where all the light rays converge, we call focus and the distance between optical center and the fo principal focus is known as focal length denoted by small letter F. And there's another point which is known as 2F. What is 2F? 2F means double of focus. So whenever you have a question in exam, because uh, you will have a question in which you have to draw an image formed by a convex lens. So whenever a question is there to draw an image formed by a convex lens, so first thing what you have to do, and this is always done with measurement. So example, So this is always done with measurement. So what, whenever a question is there related to a convex lens, so you have to draw the lens, the principal axis, focus, and 2F. And it should be both sides. So if you are drawing a lens, So if a question, you draw a lens, then you will always draw principal axis, the imaginary line which is passing through the center, that's called principal axis. You will mark the optical center. Optical center means the center of lens. And with measurement, like example, Normally, they mention in the question the focal length is three centimeter or five centimeter. So you'll measure from the center of the lens and mark a point focus. And like example, if a question focus is given three centimeter. So from the center using a ruler, you will measure three centimeter and mark focus. And then further three centimeter or from a center six centimeter, you will mark 2F. So you will mark these points on the right hand side as well as there will be focus on left-hand side and 2F also on left-hand side. So you should always draw the principal axis and mark these four point, five points basically, including the center of the lens. If a question is there related to the lens. The rays which can pass through the lens
So the ray of the light which can pass through a lens, number one, if ray is parallel, is parallel to principal axis, it will pass through the focus. So the first thing, like you will have a principal axis, then the position of the lens, Example, this is a lens. To draw a lens, what you can do, you can draw a straight line and join the two ends. With each other. This will represent a length. Now you will have focus according to the measurement which will be given in the question, then 2F and F and 2F. So if the ray is parallel to principal axis, if ray is parallel to principal axis, Practically what happened when it enter from move from air to glass, it will bend towards the normal and moving from glass to air, it will bend away from the normal and passes through the focus. But you don't have to show a refraction within the lens. It is acceptable because it's a uh, small thickness. So you can continue the ray till the center of the lens. If ray is parallel from where it will pass, it will always pass through focus. So if it is coming from any point, if ray is parallel to principal axis from where it will pass, it will always pass through the focus. So whenever a ray of a light is parallel to the principal axis, always remember it will pass through focus. That's the first thing. The second one, the second kind of a ray if ray is passing through the focus, it will go parallel to the principal axis. So if ray of the light is passing through the focus, it will go parallel to the principal axis. So imaginary line, which is perpendicular, which is passing through the center of the lens, that's known as the principal axis. And you will have focus according to a question with measurement it is done, then 2F, same way on the left-hand side, F and 2F. So if ray of the light, is passing through the focus, it will go parallel. Like if there's a ray of the light is passing through the focus. So how it will go till the center, you will continue and it will move parallel to the principal axis. If ray of the light is passing through the focus, so it will go parallel to principal axis. So you can see both are opposite of each other. If it is parallel, it will pass through focus. If it is passing through the focus, it will go parallel. 
uh, take the screenshot of this. And the third one, if the ray of the light is passing through the center of the lens, The second point, if ray of the light is, look, there are three ways the ray of the light can pass through the convex lens. Number one, the ray of, if the ray of the light are parallel to the principal axis. So if they are parallel to principal axis, what we observe, they all will converge at one point. The point where it will converge, we call that as focus. Second thing, if the ray of the light is passing through the focus, so what we observe, the refraction, it will refract parallel to the principal axis. If another ray which is passing through the focus, what we observe, it will go parallel to principal axis. That's the second ray. And the third one, If ray of a light is passing through the center of the lens, it will not change direction. So if we have a principal axis, Imaginary, this is a convex lens, imaginary line which is passing through the center, that's known as the principal axis, then optical center is there, according to a measurement, F will be there, 2F, F, and 2F. So if the ray of the light is passing through the center of the lens, means if it passes through exactly the center or passing through the principal axis, what we observe, Without any change in the direction, we will observe it will pass straight. So these are the three ways the light can pass through a convex lens. Number one, rays parallel, it will pass through focus. Number two, if it is passing through focus, it will go parallel. And number three, if it is passing through the center of the lens, if this is passing through a center of the lens without any change in direction, it will continue. So we will use these rays to form image by the convex lens, or we will use these uh, rays to show how the image is formed by a convex lens. So this part, this topic is very important, image formed by a convex lens. And I want everyone to draw with me, like I will do step by step. So I want everyone, you can, uh, with a measurement, so you need a ruler and a pencil to draw the image formed by a convex lens. Example, if a question is an object of height two centimeters, is placed five centimeter away from convex lens of focal length three centimeter. So this is a question, an object of height two centimeter is placed five centimeter away from the convex lens of focal length three centimeter. Now, first what you will do, everyone should draw a horizontal line. First draw the horizontal line, length of a line, it's not important, like it should be a long, uh, around 10 to 14 centimeter long. First, draw a horizontal line on your notebooks.
and mark the center of this line basically this is a point where you will place the lens okay just mark no need to draw the lens first do this thing draw the horizontal line and when you are done just let me know in a chat so i will move on draw the horizontal line and mark a point the center of that line which you draw that's a position of the lens now in the question they mention a focal length is 3 cm so using your ruler scale measure 3 cm from this point no need to make this arrow just measure 3 cm from this point and mark focus and then further 3 cm mark 2f both on the right hand side on on the left hand side so focus with measurement with a ruler 3 cm 3 cm on the left 3 cm on the right first mark f and then 2f i am just because i am not using a measurement i am just uh, mentioning the position but you should do with measurement both side the distance from the center should be 3 cm and distance between center of the position of the lens and 2f should be 6 cm because 2f means double of focus now in the question uh, still we did not draw the lens we just marked the position now in the question they mention an object is placed an object of height 2 cm placed 5 cm away from the lens but they did not specify whether on the right hand side or left hand side so if it is not mentioned you can place anywhere so i will measure 5 cm i am placing the object on the left hand side so you can place on the right hand side so i'll measure 5 cm 5 cm will somewhat come out at this position because the focal length is 3 so 5 will be more than that so i'll measure 5 cm and place an object of height 2 cm this arrow height should be 2 cm that is a object 2 cm high finish till this point now what you will do just draw a vertical line at the position of the lens draw a vertical line but this line length length of this line which you draw vertical line should be greater than the height of the object so at the position where you want to place a lens you will draw a vertical line arrows are not necessary you can draw like this just a vertical line not with measurement but it should be higher than the size of the object now after drawing this vertical line now we have to draw an image how image is formed so first because there are three ways the rays can pass a ray of a light can be parallel to principal axis so example the blue line is representing a ray of a light 
first i draw parallel to principal axis i will take the take the tip of the object and draw a horizontal line a parallel line to the principal axis continue till the lens from where it will pass if it's a parallel line if the ray of the light is parallel so it will pass through the focus so what you will do use a ruler draw a horizontal line and pass that line and pass this line through the focus draw the horizontal line and pass through the focus then take the second ray again from the tip of the object i'm using a different color to rip show take another ray from the tip of object and pass through the center of the lens so if the ray of the light is passing through the center of the lens so what will happen without any change in direction it will continue the point the position where the two light rays intersect that is the point where the image will form so when you draw the image because you took object the tip of object so the point where the two light rays will converge intersect basically that is the point where the image will form is it clear this is a position where the image is formed and now to complete a lens just to complete a lens you can complete you can make because it's a convex lens so we can just join from one end to another and show the lens now this is how the image is formed so you only need two rays you can also draw the third one but in exam two are enough if i draw the third ray the third ray because the third ray it it should take the same point tip of object passing through the focus so when it is passing through the focus what will happen it will go parallel you will see that it will also intersect at the same point where the two were intersecting but in exam you don't have to draw three of them this is ray 1 2 and 3 so we don't have to draw all three of them only two are enough to show how the image is formed by the convex lens so parallel passes through the focus one through the center of the lens will pass straight and one which is passing through the focus will go parallel the second part normally in exam what they ask they ask characteristic of the image characteristic of the image means like how it appear so first thing when you compare your you can use a ruler when you compare size of object with size of image which is bigger or larger in this figure when you compare your according to your figure you will compare so image is larger when image is larger we can say image is magnified image is enlarged or magnified so one characteristic uh, enlarge image that is one thing the second you can see the tip of object and tip of image are inverted so this is inverted as well so image is inverted the third thing because 
the two rays are actually intersecting by themselves so if you, two rays intersecting by themselves so this image will be a real image real image means the image can be seen on screen if it was a virtual then larger here refers to when you compare the object object was 2 cm high uh, what is your image size you may have different image size it's acceptable because uh, if you are using a, a thick lines then the image size even also it will change so on average like 3.3 3.3 3.2 some will get 3 so basically it is all acceptable but but basically when you compare like example if your answer of image is 3.3 cm an object was 2 cm so it shows that the image is magnified or image is enlarged Three point one, two point nine. So these are the characteristics of image formed by a convex lens. Another example I will give. <coughs> you will also solve this with me so that you can understand how the image is formed So in this question, draw an image formed by a convex lens when object is placed six centimeter from the lens, a focal length two centimeter. In this question, the height of object is not given. So if height of object is not given, that's not an issue. Uh, you can draw any height, but keep in mind the height of object should be smaller as compared to the lens which you draw. So first thing, everyone should draw a horizontal line. draw the horizontal line and mark the center of this line so mark the center of this line then focal length is 2 cm so f and 2f but what will be the length it should be 2 cm and distance between the center of the lens and 2f should be 4 cm then mark f and 2f this is done with measurement so use a ruler to measure then object is placed 6 cm 
So measure six centimeter again. It is not mentioned whether it is on the right hand side. Or on the left hand side, so you can draw at any side. It's up to you. But six centimeter. So definitely, if two F is four centimeter, six centimeter will be away. So you will draw an object. Object you represent by an arrow. Then draw the lens. the vertical line but keep in mind that the lens size should be bigger than the object so this is a lens now the parallel light ray take the light ray from tip of the object so if it's parallel light ray from where it will pass so it will pass through focus then take the second light ray which is passing through the again started with the tip passing through the center of the lens so what will happen if it is passing through the center of the lens it will pass straight so where the two light rays converge intersect that is the point where the image will form so where the image is form the point where the image is form you will draw that image so example this is a point where the image is formed what are the characteristic of this image or the properties of the image it is real it is smaller and it is inverted it is not yeah it is smaller real and inverted when you compare you will use your uh, scale like example when you compare the image which the object which you draw and with the image which is formed you will find that the image is smaller so the characteristic of this image it is smaller it is real and it is inverted is it clear this part then you can complete the uh, lens so you can see when the object is closer to the lens the image is far away from the lens and it is larger when object is away from the lens image is closer to the lens and it is smaller so in this question the height of image will be different for everyone reason for that because the height of object is not given like whenever you compare example if you drew this say you took 4 cm height of object and you are getting 3.3 cm so you will compare with your height what you took for object and what you are getting for image another example an object is placed Two centimeter from convex lens of focal length two 
object is placed 2 cm from focal from convex lens of focal length 3 cm So you will mark the center, mark focus, then 2F and F and 2F. With measurement, uh, focal length is 3 centimeter. So F should be 3 centimeter and 2F should be 6 centimeter. Then the object is placed 2 centimeter, but the height of object is not given. If height is not given, it's up to you any height you can draw. Then draw the lens. Do this part. Everyone should complete till this point. Now, again, uh, we will use two light rays if it is parallel. So from where it will pass, it will pass through focus. And if it is passing through the center, it will pass straight. You can see clearly the two light rays. When you draw the two light rays, what you find, the distance between them is increasing or decreasing. The two light rays when you draw parallel passing through the focus and one through the center will pass a straight. So the distance between them is increasing. It means they will never intersect because it, if the distance between the two light rays is increasing, how they will intersect with each other. So they will never intersect. So if they will not intersect, how the image is formed, how we can show that the image is formed, so basically what happened when a person is looking from other side, our eye is here. When a person is looking from the other side of the lens, this is our imagination. Our brain, we always sense, always create an illusion that light is coming straight from the object. So when our brain reproduces this light, when our brain produces this light back in opposite direction, it will intersect at the same side of the lens. And this is a position where the image is formed. So you can see this is not real. It is just imagination. That's why we call this image as virtual image or imaginary image. And this is what happened when you're using a magnifying glass. So um, when you're using a magnifying glass, if there's a text, it appeared to be larger in size. In reality, it's, it's the same size, but our imagination, it make it larger because when our brain recreate the position of the light rays, it make her look bigger. So what are the correct characteristic of this image? So it is virtual, magnified, not inverted or upright. You can use the term upright, imaginary. So in, instead of in, opposite of inverted, not inverted or upright is a better term. So you will mention it is virtual, magnified, upright 
and it is same side of the object the previous images when it were formed why sometime the ray intersect and sometime ray does not intersect basically it depends on the refraction of the light when the object is too close the refraction of the light when the light is passing it is not able to intersect but when the object is relatively far from the lens when the light rays are passing there the refraction is small that's why they are able to intersect so whenever you place an object within the focal length the image is always having this characteristic is it clear this is also the image formed by a convex lens or we can also say use as a magnifying glass any doubt in this part the image formed by the lens so example <coughs> image formed by a convex or a converging lens object is between the center of the lens and the principal focus so this is a lens f and 2f are there object is here so first o is representing a position of object parallel light ray from where it will pass if the light ray is parallel So it will pass to one f or focus. So that will pass through the focus. Then the second light ray, it is passing through the center, so it will pass through it. You can see the two light rays will not intersect by themselves. If the two light rays are not intersecting, it means the image cannot form. Real image cannot be formed. So when our brain, when we are looking from the other side. our brain recreate these lines and when it recreate the point where the two light rays intersect that is the position where the image will form and what are the characteristic it is magnified or enlarged upright and virtual and same side as object so when the object is basically when object is between the focus and the optical center that means the center of the lens the image is always virtual so if the two light rays will not intersect the image will be virtual because imaginary image will form reality it will not form example the object is between f and 2f so parallel light ray it will pass through focus one through the center will pass straight so you can see the two light rays intersect if the two light rays intersect it means the image is real it is enlarged or magnified and it is inverted okay in this question the diagram shows a converging lens forming an image which statement about image is correct
So the correct answer, it's a virtual image and it can be seen by why, because why this, why is able to see, because in reality, it's not, this thing is not there. This is just an imagination of the brain, which is created when the eye is at position Y. So when you have the position, when you have I at position Y, the light rays which enter your eye are not intersecting. So your brain recreate and produce them backward. So your imagination create this image. That's why it is a virtual image and it can be seen by Y. Even if I place a screen here, for example, if I place a screen here, can I see this image on the screen? Can this image be seen on the screen? So it cannot be seen on screen because it is a virtual image and virtual image is not present. It's just imagination. That's why it cannot be seen by screen or even an eye at position at this position. Because this is an imagine, like example, for example, I imagine something, but you don't, you cannot see my imagination because that's the cre uh, image created by the brain for a person at position Y. So that's why a person at X cannot see this image because in reality it is not there. Question three. A converging lens uses a magnifying glass. Magnifying glass means to enlarge the image. So it is a virtual image. In reality, it is not there. Question eight. Image formed by the plane mirror. Look how the image is formed by the plane mirror. Like this is a mirror. You have an object. The two light rays which are coming out from the object strike the mirror and bounce back. And when the, they follow the law of reflection, the two light rays will not intersect. So when we are looking from this side, our brain again reproduce them. So our brain recreate them. That's why it is virtual. So plane mirror, virtual and magnifying also it's virtual. So the correct answer is D. Plane mirrors are also forming a virtual image. In reality, it's not there. It's just imagination. So D is the correct answer. Is it clear why D is the right answer? Because the plane mirror also, when the light strike the mirror, it bounces back. The two light rays will not intersect. So if it will not intersect, it means it cannot create a real image. I will take a five minutes uh, break, but I will not end the session. I'll stop uh, recording this and taking a five minutes break. After five minutes, I'll restart. I'll not end the session. This will continue. So <coughs> after five minutes, I will discuss more questions related to this. In question 14, a student draw a diagram represent, representing three rays of a light uh, from point P passing through a, convex, a converging lens or a convex lens. Each point labeled F is a principal focus. 
which ray uh, which of the rays has the student drawn correctly Yeah, B is the right because the first one is parallel, so it will pass through focus. That's correct. The second one is through the center, so pass straight. That's also correct. But the third one, if it is passing through the focus, it should go parallel. So B is the right answer. an object is placed in front of a converging lens an object the lens has a focal length f the lens produce a real and large image of an object in which level position is the object placed it is real and enlarged but if it is d d is within the focus so it cannot form look within the focus if object is within the focus it will always form a virtual image like the two light rays will not intersect so c is the correct answer because till focus the image will be real and why enlarge as as the object move closer to the lens as object move closer to the lens image will form away from the lens and it will be enlarged so if i move the object closer to the lens image will be far away from the lens and it will be enlarged but till what point we can have a real image real image can only form till the focus our uh, within the focus if you place an object image will not be real it will always be virtual in the question they mention real so it cannot be d d cannot be an answer because if object is at d within the focus it cannot be real image so either a can be answer b or c but which one of them will produce an enlarged image when object is closer to the lens image will form far away from the lens and it will be enlarged that is why c is a right answer no the focus image will form but image will form far away from the lens like if i draw you can also do this with a measurement if object is at focus like if i say an object of <coughs> or an object is placed three uh, at focus which is 3 cm and we want to draw an image so first we draw imaginary line the principal axis we will mark the center of the principal axis then we'll mark focus and 2f f and 2f and i have the height of object is not given object is at focus at this point imaginary line which is passing through center so when you draw this because i it it's done with measurement so parallel light ray from where it will pass the parallel light ray will pass through the focus and one through the optical center will pass straight so you can see the these two light rays the distance is decreasing means they will intersect at certain point but that will be far away but they will intersect why they will intersect because you can see the distance between them is decreasing so this will form an image but and it will be a real image but far away from the lens so which we can also say image will form that infinity the term infinity means like uh, not a specific distance undetermined distance but it will be a real image
so when object is at focus the image will be form image will be real and it will be enlarged but if it is within the focal lens like object is within the focal length in that case when you draw the lines the parallel light ray it will pass through the focus one through the optical center it will pass straight and now you can see the distance is increasing so it will never intersect so this will always form a virtual image is it clear that image will form when the object is at focus and that will be a real image why b is uh, b will form an image but the largest image is form the n large image is form b will also form n large image c will also but when you compare the size of image the n large image will form when it is exactly at c b in case of b also the image size will be bigger but the larger image size when it is at position c that's why c is the answer b actually the b also matches with the lens produce a real enlarged image of an object so at position b also it will be real and enlarged at position c also it will be real and enlarged now we have to compare which one is enlarged like which one is bigger in size as compared to the object so in case of c it will be much bigger in size that's why c is except c they is the right answer for this what's the answer for this which diagram shows an how an image form uh, which diagram shows an image of an object is formed on screen by a converging lens Yeah, C is the right answer because parallel it will pass through focus. So the parallel light ray will passes through the focus, and one through the focus it will pass uh, one through the center of the lens pass straight. It will intersect. So it is following the means the rays are passing in a correct manner. That's why C was the right answer. there are more mcqs but i will discuss structure question for why c is the right answer because whenever you have parallel light ray if the light ray is parallel from where it will pass it should pass through focus but in the question they mention in option a they mention it is passing through 2f so that's wrong then what about this one again it if it is parallel light ray it should pass through f but from where it is passing it is passing through 2f so it, this is also wrong why d is not a right answer because if it is parallel it will pass through focus that's correct but if it is passing through the focus it should go parallel but what they showed they showed if it is passing through focus it converges it, so this is totally wrong that's why c why it's a right answer parallel it is passing through the focus through the center of the lens is passing 
straight. They did not mention it's a virtual image in the question. The mention can be seen on screen. If it is can be seen on screen, it means it is a real image. You can see which diagram shows how image of an object form on screen. So if something is formed on the screen, it means it is a real image. And real image is formed by intersection of the two light rays. Okay, this is a question. Figure 7.1 shows a converging lens and its principal axis. The point label F are each principal focus on the lens. On the figure, draw two rays from top of the object and locate the image. So how you locate the image? First one you draw parallel. So from where it will pass? It will pass through F focus. So continue. Then the one through the center of the lens, it will pass straight. The point where the two light rays intersect, that is the position where the image is formed. In the question under nine, the three of the term describe the nature of image by a converging lens used as a magnifying glass. So when we use magnifying uh, converging lens as a magnifying glass, what are the characteristic? Three characteristic we have to underline. So which three I should underline? No, in the uh, not about this image. They they are not asking about this image. This is another part. Three terms. Describe the nature of image produced by converging lens used as a magnifying glass. Like when we use the converging lens as a magnifying glass. So it will be enlarged. It will be upright and virtual. If this was a question, like if this was a question that related to this, related to this, then it will be inverted. In that case, it will be inverted. It will be real. And I, we will measure the size. I think it appeared to be same size. So that will be same size. But in this question, because they did not ask for, they asked for magnifying glass. That's why it is enlarged. It is uh, upright and virtual. Figure 7.1 is a diagram of a converging lens used to produce an image of an object. Each point marked F is a principal focus. Write down three terms to describe the image. Three characteristics of this image. Magnified or enlarged, inverted and real so real inverted and enlarged these are the three uh, yes motion you have a question yes sir um yes sir so in the, uh, when we place an object at the focus hmm. so the two rays that are produced they're parallel right they appear to be like not exactly parallel uh, slightly they're Inter like uh, converging, but the thing is that because it will take longer distance to convert them and intersect at a point. That's why instead of completing that image, we simply say that image is it is real image, but it will fa form far away from the lens, so it will be enlarged or magnified. Is yes, there? But like, if it was exactly parallel, it would it wouldn't form an image, right? 
Yeah, if it is exactly parallel, it could not form an image. But actually, what happened? It is not exactly parallel. It's like it is a slightly converging. So it will take a longer distance for the two light rays to converge at one point. Like it's not yeah. e exactly like. For example, if I draw this as a four object, so when I draw the parallel light ray, it will pass through focus, and when I draw through the center, so you can see it appear to be parallel, but in reality is not parallel. They will intersect, but they will intersect far away from the lens. So that will be a yeah. real image, and it is enlarged. The image formed by a convex lens uh, is always no. It's not. It depends on the object position. If object is at focus or after focus, it will be inverted. But if it is within the focus, then it will be upright. Real images are always inverted. Look in the next question. Figure seven point two shows a plane mirror, a point <coughs> object, and observer eye is there. On the figure, draw two rays from the object reflected to the observer eye. I told you whenever you want to draw an image formed by a mirror, instead of drawing the rays first, draw the image. And how to draw an image? You will measure using a ruler scale, because in exam they don't know which line you are drawing first. so using a ruler or a scale you will measure a distance between object and the mirror and draw the same distance so draw the same distance and mark image now draw the two rays from the image to the eye and join them from object to the mirror basically what happened the two light rays hit the mirror bounce back and enter our eye but because the two light rays the distance between them is increasing so our brain create an image and that is a virtual image is it clear Figure seven point one shows a converging lens. Its principal axis, point f one and f two, are there. Uh, an object is placed at f one. Uh, an object is placed between f one and the lens. On the figure, draw the two rays from top of object and locate the image. So, how to locate the image? First, the parallel light ray. It will pass through focus. One through the center. It will pass straight. But you can see, they will not intersect. so if they will not intersect you will produce the light rays backward the point where the two light rays intersect that is the position where the image will form it should be with a ruler scale my these lines should be same as this one like continuation then underline three terms describe the image how you describe this image compared to this is object this one is image how you describe the three terms it is uh, enlarge uh, this term uh, magnified is not given enlarge is given so enlarge it will be real and it will be inverted real images are always inverted basically what happen even if you want to identify whether it's a real image you can draw the light rays parallel it will pass through focus and one through the center will pass straight so you can see the two light rays will intersect
figure 7.1 shows a convex lens being used to produce an image uh, place three ticks in the table you can use the screen annotation to put three ticks So enlarge is one, that's correct. And it is upright, that's the other one. And <coughs> the last one is, it is virtual. Then, How we know it is enlarged? Diminish means small in size. The term diminish means if our image size is smaller. How we know it is enlarged? Enlarged means when you compare size. You measure the height of object with height of image. You can find the image is larger in size. If it's larger or bigger, you say magnified or enlarged. On the figure 7.1, mark a letter E to indicate the possible position of the eye where I should uh, place the eye mark the letter E you can use the screen annotation for this yeah that's right uh, so you just have to mention with letter E State an application of this uh, in which a convex lens is used, so magnifying glass. And you can see discussion is there. So in a space below, draw a ray diagram, locate the image. Uh, draw a ray diagram to locate image of an object of height one centimeter, place five centimeter from a convex lens of focal length two centimeter. Draw your diagram full scale. You are advised to locate the lens, the center and label the image. So I want everyone to solve this question and send it to me on WhatsApp, not on the group, uh, send as a private message on WhatsApp. So the light topic, we are done with the light topic. Um, the block three, last topic of block three is electromagnetic spectrum and dispersion of the white light that we will do in the next class. Any question related to the class today? So solve this question and send on WhatsApp.